skinny little arms, half starved. I don't want you. Go get a bath. What's the matter with them? No, monsieur. I, I have to charge you for that. <laughs> Funny. I'll wait around for a real woman, not some half starved ghost who thinks herself too good for me. Not there! You're spoiling the view, tart! in my office in the morning. I'll deal with this. As for you, you're under arrest, soliciting, drunk and brawling, attacking a respectable gentleman. You'll be lucky if you only get six months. <laughs> six months in prison. Come on, move! But you can't! disturbance like that, and it will be a year. There's no excuse for you not to have a respectable job and to work hard to keep your daughter. Because I have nowhere else to go. Where is she? Is she in this town? Then it is out of my jurisdiction. Come on, move, I say. What is happening here? Nothing, monsieur. I merely arrested a drunken prostitute. She will soon be off the streets. Wait a minute. I heard a lot of what happened as I took my evening walk. I'd like a word with you. I beg your pardon, monsieur le maire. You're... You're the mayor. <laughs> Inspector Javert, this woman must be set free. Pardon me, monsieur le maire. You do say you'll set me free, Inspector Javert. Look, I'll explain the whole thing, because it's all the fault of that, that vile creature there, that mare. He dismissed me because the other women in the factory, they gossiped about me. And, and so I couldn't, I couldn't earn enough to take care of my daughter. I, I sold my hair, I even sold some of my teeth, and then, then I had nothing left but this. I, I have possessed the thing, God, it's all that monster's fault. I still have the time, it's a hundred francs, plus Gazette's keep. I, I have to own it somehow. How much did you say you owe? Am I talking to you? You both. You came here to frighten me, but I'm not frightened of you. I'm just frightened of Inspector Joubert. He said I could go. I'm going. Who said you're going <laughs> anywhere? You're under arrest. I did. Monsieur Le Maire, that cannot be allowed. But why? This woman insulted a respected gentleman. I saw a lot of what happened and asked to pass by the rest. The fault was entirely that of the respected citizen. And in fact, by the law, he should be arrested. But she insulted you too. She even spat at you. That is my affair and for me to decide as to how to respond. Surely there. I cannot believe my ears. Then you'll just have to be content to obey. The law requires that I send this woman to prison for six months. No, 
She will not spend one single day in prison. I do not wish to have issue with Monsieur Le Maire, but I must remind you that I am acting within the law. She attacked, indeed, threw herself upon Monsieur de Matavoir, who went to an expensive house at the end of the street. This is a matter of police regulations, and therefore comes within my province. Therefore, I am arresting this woman. The regulations to which you refer are those affecting the municipal police. Under Articles 9, 11, 15, 66, I have the authority to overrule you. Therefore, I order you, release her. But, Monsieur Le Maire... You might also wish to revise Article 81 of the Law of December the 13th, 1799, which relates to arbitrary detention. I brought no further argument. Release her. Hmm. I heard what you said. I didn't know any of this had happened. I didn't even know you'd left my employment. You should come and spoken to me. But that is a past, as is your current predicament. I pay for your um, debts and arrange for your child to be brought here, or for you to go to her. If it's all been as you say, and I have no reason to doubt you, then you've never been anything but changed in the eyes of God. I'll take you to hospital. Inspector, uh, good afternoon. How can I help? I have come to apologise <coughs> and beg that you dismiss me. Pardon? An inferior member of the public services has shown the utmost disrespect for a magistrate. I have to come to inform you. I see. And who is this person? I am.